I bet it gets real. What does the manual say? In a dark room environment, you can block all the light sources in addition providing enough lighting to work with low intensity red light. You can produce a dark room environment at home, so I think we have to do it here. I am not feeling so good, but I've woken up in strangers' houses looking worse. I could use a sh- right now I could even use the- So, this is where Hallowell keeps- I probably shouldn't share everything with Hallowell. Not many other places to do this kind of stuff. Maybe the professor has a dark room-ish kind of place. Oh, actually, we can go to that um, port thing. I'll just check the professor, just in case. See what he's up to. Hey, professor. Hello, Hopper. Did you ever hear about a group called Aquila? Aquila? Yes. You know them? No, not at all. Who are they? Apparently some kind of spiritual self-improvement group. Hmm. I'd steer clear if I were you. Sounds like bunk to me. Talk later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Not very helpful, Professor. Wow. He is rocking that pink. Port Nicola Marina. No poor people. No poor people. It, it doesn't say that. This is where the cream of Port Nicola society park their stupid boats. They are stupid. Stupid and rich. Seriously, what is the point of having a boat? Hey guys, let's go down to the movie theater. We can take my boat. No, 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 we can't, because it's a boat. I know, right? He, he makes so much sense. Silly rich people. They actually look pretty nice. This boat's called Hava. Looks like this one has all the latest kit. Ahoy! Sorry, no time to talk. Don't I know you from somewhere? I rather think not. Oh wait, his name was Rancho. Is he the head of the RHC? You know who you look like? <laughs> I can't imagine. That Dr. Rancho guy from the newspapers. Well, people tell me I have one of those faces. You're the spitting image of Rancho. Come on, man. You're him, aren't you? You have me confused, sir. I've never heard of this Dr. Ranzo. I wanted to thank you for your work fighting Yelltown Fever. For the last time, I am not this doctor of yours. I am, however, a very good customer of this dockyard. Keep pestering me and you'll find yourself manhandled roughly from the premises by a sinewy roustabout. Understand? Yeah. Apart from sinewy roustabout, is that like a crawler? Hey, Rancho. <laughs> nice boat. Yes, it is. Cool. What'd she set you back? I told you I'm busy. So he's not Rancho, he just looks like him. What are you doing there? Just making sure everything is ship shape. Nothing to see here. Do you know any nautical jokes? Have you heard the one about the guy who got wailed on with a boat hook? Just making conversation. Don't. What's the difference between a bow knot and a square knot? Don't try my patience. Oh, Harper is just <laughs> the fuckiest guy. <laughs> hey, Rancho! Hmm. Mm. Jeez, this guy isn't going to crack so easy. Well, is he Rancho or isn't he? My game, the game says it's Rancho. I do have a picture of you, don't I? In, from 1992. I don't think he'd be interested in that. It kind of looks like him. Maybe it is Rancho. All right, Rancho. Is this your pen? I don't think I should show him that. All right, I won't. It's a pen from the Port Nicola sailboat marina. I don't know what to do with it, so uh, we're just gonna go. Excuse me. What? Hey, what's Aquila? What's what? This Aquila pamphlet. What's it about? I don't know what you're talking about. When I got my stuff out of that box you stashed it in, I found this pamphlet. I don't know, dude. These Aquila people are promising enlightenment. 
Sounds like your brand of mumbo jumbo, doesn't it? Listen, dude, I really don't know crap about your pamphlet. Okay, I used to get paid to push those things on impressionable types, but that's it. If you want to know more, read the damn pamphlet. You used to give out Aquila pamphlets? Yes, sometimes, but I never went to any of their meetings. It was just a quick buck in between other scams. Oh, yeah? Would I lie to you? Who did you work for at Aquila? Just some guy called Ricardo. He was a recruiter, but way, way deeper into it than me. Where can I find this Ricardo? The hell if I know. He hasn't been around for weeks. Bum still owes me $20. Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Yep. Thanks for the info. I'll keep an eye out for this Ricardo dude. We're close. Oh, it's you. How's the caffeinol coming along? I'm working on it. Awesome, bro. Talk to you later. Later, bro. Later, bro. Such a nice guy. Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, Harper. Ever heard of Aquila? Hmm. I heard that somewhere. Where? I don't really recall. Sorry, Harper. I gotta run. Bye! Mom always wanted me to read more. The only books I ever finished were operations manuals. It has to be. Uh, Hallowell's apartment because it said something about developing at home and uh, yeah, we're gonna use her apartment for that and it's most probably the bathroom But let's see what can I do because I did get baking powder coffee I think I needed some acid as well, which is gonna be the orange scavenge so lozenge lozenge So let's try mixing those up and see what happens Okay, instant coffee and baking powder. Now I just need to add vitamin C and I'll have me some high-grade caffeinol. Damn straight. Here you... Where did it go? Gorange. Sporange? Sporange. Blorange. We add this to this. Instant coffee, baking powder, vitamin C. I've made myself some caffeinol. I feel like an ingenious chemist slash chef. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> Huh. You're the one who develops. Don't get too excited. So this place looks pretty dark. It's just this, this lamp. How do I get rid of it? Can I just bust it? Cut it up, man. A flash drive for hacking computer systems. Sounds pretty illegal. I should probably stop talking about it. Yes, they're listening. Can I just cut it? I don't think those things play nice together. Well, they, they, they'll play scary together. I need to create some red light. But how? A little red light. Presumably for tiny sex workers. It's for my stiff neck, Harper. Working on the laptop is not so good. Whatever. Would you mind if I borrow the light bulb? I guess so, if you think it'll help. Oh, it will. Perfectly, actually. I was looking all around town for something that I could dye the <laughs> light bulb red, but it was just by the damn bed. All right, let's get developing. Does red light help your stiff neck? I never knew about that. Maybe I should look into it. Infrared heat lamp 140 watt. The red light bulb from Hellowell's heat lamp. Heat lamp, all right. Okay. Haha! <laughs> now it feels like a serial killer's bathroom. Oh, totally. Man, this is creepy. I can't see any pictures on the negatives now. They need developing, I think. You think? Okay, my dark room is ready. Expand the development reel to please your negative size. Okay. The negative is neatly wound into the spool. Handle the edges politely. I'll be very polite, don't worry. Okay, so the film goes on the reel. What else? Place the spool in the developing tank and add the developer to mark X. Is that the caffeinol? Gently aggravate. <laughs> this this whole endeavor is aggravating. So we put the spool that disappeared from its place. Get back here, spool. Where are you? Oh, actually, it's here. So we'll put it in the tank. Here goes. 
Cool. What is this? Fixer. This is the fixer. For fixing the images. I guess. I guess. Do we use the caffeinol now? This goopy concoction is supposed to help develop photos. Ugh. Ugh. Okie dokie, cheap filling station coffee. Do your thing. Do your thing. I hope I'm doing this right. Me too. Well, it's okay, it's a game. These things will just bounce back to their original, original state if we mess this up. I don't know how to aggravate things, but he doesn't seem to want to aggravate. Add the fixer and seal the lid and gently aggravate. Pour the holder and fill the tank with clean water. All right, let's add the fixer. Do you want to aggravate it? I hope I'm doing this right. Well, he doesn't want to aggravate it. It's fixer time. Cool. And then we add water. All righty then. So, guess I'm done then. Do I need to do anything else? I don't think so. The kit has disappeared from my inventory. Much more atmospheric. Well, these negatives have come out great-ish. I better show Hellowell. Can I look at them? I don't think so. I developed the pictures. You did? Amazing. Hey, apart from being all negative, I gotta say these came out pretty good. Yeah, they're good. But on their own, they're not good enough to put anyone in bracelets. What's that crate? I think that's the crate the virus canisters came from. Ah, a serial number. There's some kind of code printed on the crate. Hey, this kind of looks like the code on that unsuccessful delivery note. It does. There's some kind of... Looks like the code on... Inverted Greystone Woods is just as spooky as normal Greystone. I don't think this is going to help Hellowell's investigation. Well, it looks like Jervis took a picture in the L-Town junkyard. Oh, and we're gonna give a picture of the junkyard to Leroy. To remember her by. Something tells me Ranger Jervis doesn't take a lot of selfies. Can you make out the RHC guy there? That's how they spread the virus, with those leaf blower things. Ranger Jervis was lucky to get this close to them without getting hurt. You know she knocked me unconscious and tied me up, right? I mean, it was fine. Do they help us nail RHC? Well, they're not federal indictment good, but they are good. Oh, did you see this? One of the virus crates is stamped Port Nicola Harbor. Port Nicola Harbor. Hmm. Why would they want to destroy Port Nicola? So the crates carrying the virus came through the harbor? Looks like they did. You've turned up a good lead. Time for a little legwork? Why is it always my legs doing the work? I found Patrick Rancho down at the marina. Rancho? As an RHC CEO? Well done, Harper. This is huge. I'm pretty sure it's him, but he's a real smooth operator. He will not talk. Seems like he's fixing to leave town. What should we do? Keep calm, Harper. We need a plan. Any ideas? Mm, nope. I have literally no idea how to make Rancho talk. Rancho is a savvy con artist. It won't be easy to get anything out of him. But we've got to look for a way. Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. I guess I'll look for a way. Hey, that kind of looks like that code on Jervis's photo. What can I do? Just show these things to Rancho? I don't think that's a good idea. But I can go to Leroy, give him the picture, and he'll give, give me the pass. And then we'll find the crates, I think. Hey, Leroy, guess what? I've got a photo of your junkyard. Well, it's a negative, actually. But I bet you could get it blown up to the size of a billboard if you wanted. What? Ha! Huh, that's... that's... Do you think I can have it? Sure. You know I'm always ready to help a buddy. But... Will you lend me that harbor pass of yours for a moment in exchange? For a photo of my junkyard? I'd do anything, Hop. But bring it back, will ya? I need it tomorrow. Uh, of course. I really hope we will. I don't want to take it with me and ruin his, uh, work arrangement. 
Leroy's Harbor Pass. It's really good to see Leroy's okay. I wish everyone else could have gotten out of Yelltown in time, too. I can't let myself think about that. Yeah, they're probably all dead, mate. Can I go give him his pass back? Here's your Harbor Pass back, Leroy. Thanks, Hop! Thanks again. Yay! Hey, we got an achievement for that. We were nice. Be a good friend and stand by your word. Always ready to help a buddy. What do we got here? A lot of names. Hmm, does this tie in with the code? Capien. It's a blurry name. Hey, that kind of looks like... Capien, okay. Do we have that? K-A-P-N. Cajona, maybe. Hey, buddy, you want to step away from there? No, buddy. Oh, there's some drones patrolling. These shipping containers are pretty huge. It won't be long before they're all rented out as studio apartments to vegan banjo players and whatnot. Yes. We all know that the shipping containers are pretty exclusively lived in by vegan banjo players. <laughs> These shipping containers are pretty huge. It won't be long before they're all... I didn't know they were using drones here. I mean, that thing is totally gonna rise up and destroy humanity. But well, look how cool it is. It's so cute. So, um, what's your problem, buddy? Hello. Hello, son. You're one of the new hands? Uh, yep, that's right. Well, my shift's nearly over. The next guy will have to show you the ropes. What are you doing there? It's the new regulations. All the consignments have to be sterilized when they pass through the harbor. The virus, right? Mm-hmm. So that machine does the sterilizing? That's what they tell me. I'm just here to make sure the gremlins and the machines don't miss any consignments out. It's highly stimulating work. I don't know, man. The gas it's producing, it kind of looks like the virus gas. You ever find anything weird in the deliveries? Like body parts or giant spiders? Son, working here may not be the thrill ride you are expecting. I don't have time to talk you through everything. But yeah, we get giant spiders. Cool. Not cool. What do the codes on the packages mean? They're the consignment IDs. The first three digits refer to the courier company. The next four refer to the port of origin and the destination. And finally, there's the unique five-digit reference code. I just got this unsuccessful delivery note. Apparently the delivery got returned here to the docks. Can your drone call up any package? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see what's happening here. You think you could start taking liberties first day on the job? Hey, sorry, man. I just want to learn more about how the machine works. Oh, yeah? Y yeah Can you tell me more about how the drone works? Uh, well, yes, it can bring up a specific package. As long as you have the ID. So how might one select a specific package, in theory? Jesus Christ, son, do you think you're being subtle? Okay, if you stop interrupting me, you can call up your damn package. Just punch the ID into the panel and hit the green button. And do not tell any of your rust-about buddies I cut you a break. Thanks, man. You're the greatest. How about them port seagulls? Son, I'm not a rude man, but I started this shift at 3 a.m. As far as I'm concerned, you can take the seagulls and cram them. Raccoons, man, huh? I better go. Hmm. This is one of those machines from 80s music videos. The right. There's so many crates. I'll never find the right delivery just by looking. There's so many cr Well, time to figure out the code. So there's an L. I think. None of them have an L. Maybe it's IXL. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I can't log in. How do I get into this computer system? Hmm. How do I get into this computer system? Well, that's a good question. Hmm. How do I get into the... Maybe our buddy over here can help us with that. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. No, he can't. I better go. Hmm. 
I thought I could punch in the ID there, but apparently not. I can't log in. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can use Hellowell's flash drive to access the system. I think we can. Oh, it's this. Oh, I've never been good at this. Damn. Actually, we did it, right? We moved them. That wasn't that difficult, but it didn't do anything. Oh. Oh, I need to move them there. Got it. There we go. I wonder if there are still any RHC consignments in the harbor. Hacked. There must be. So I think some there was something with an L. What else? K-A-P-N. A negative of those creepy... Yes, very creepy. K A. I need P L. P N, not P L. P N. And the ID is 45739. I can't put numbers in. Boop. 739. It's still here. Call. Uh, what did I do? You called in a package that's no longer in the harbor, son. Oh. What about the 738, then? 739. Well, it must be 738. Was that another out-of-date code? <sighs> I guess it was. Uh, what did I do? You called in a package that's no longer in the harbor, son. Was that another... <sighs> Uh, what did I- You called in a packet. Well, it's none of these, then. Maybe the IXL is wrong. Well, this unique identifier is different from this hey. one. That... It's got two three-something. Not much else. PN. Oh, there's a lot to recall. It's probably still KA, but I'm not sure about the start. Maybe 351? Hmm. Gee, actually, I think I punched the ID in wrong. Lord, give me the strength. Oops. Coworkers described him as a mild-mannered dock worker who just snapped. But forget about me. I'm just trying shit, man. There's nothing that starts with a two-three, so something is wrong. Maybe this K-A. Well, I guess I'm just gonna search through all of these origins because I can't tell until I see something with 2-3. Here's one with 2-3. That must have been the right one. Yeah. What's that? A letter? Huh. So Berard sent this to someone called Eva, but it couldn't be delivered and it came back. But by that time, Berard had closed up shop and was fixing to leave town. So it just bounced around between them and ended up here in the harbor. Let's see what's inside. Eva, time is short, so I'll be brief. As I wrote you in my last letter, my engagement is coming to an end. It has not been easy, but you must know I was doing it for you. We can finally be a family now. I've enclosed one last check. It should mean you and the grandkids never need to think about money again. 
God knows I haven't been the perfect father, but this is my chance to make up for all that. I can't wait to see you, Dad. There's a check inside. Oh shit, someone needed this money. A letter to someone called Eva. There's a check for... Holy moly. That's a lot of simoleons. It doesn't show us how much, but it's probably a lot of simoleons. Hello. Hmm. I better go. Hmm. I better go before you realize I don't work here. 